Hello everyone, Zaniru here, and I want to explain something. So, some of you might know a game mod going around called Pikmin Square. Now, I have gotten this, I have played it, and I'm actually enjoying it. But here's what I'm wanting to talk about. Some people might not understand the instructions in order to, you know, patch their uh, ISO file and everything. Because even I was confused by it at first. And after roughly two to three hours of research, it was a little hard to find any proper instructions. So what I'm going to do is we're going back to early 2010s YouTube here, and I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to patch your Pikmin ISO in order to play this mod. So there's two things that you need that are, well, no, there's three things that you need that are prerequisite. So first off, you're going to need the Vim's Layer NKit 1.4 plus GameCube recovery file. This is a mandatory. Without this particular file, you cannot use this ROM. Then you need to go to the Pikmin Squared ROM. I don't remember the link. So you need to go to Pick Hacker's website. And on the site, it's going to be right here, Pikmin Squared. You just download that and you'll have your patch files. I already have this set up. This is where it's going to be. It will be in a one squared patcher. Go to patches and in this case, I'm using Windows. There's also Linux and Mac OS with similar instructions in them. Now, this is very important. When it comes to patching your file, this is going to be this README text. And it's very important that you read this because you need to have a copy of your Pikmin 2 ROM with this exact MD5. If you don't have that MD5, you're essentially screwed. Because the patcher will not work unless the MD5 is the exact same. Also on top of that, it even says here, NKIT ISO and CISO files will not work. This is very important to keep in mind. You need to have a Pikmin 2 ISO, which is right here. I already have one made because I've already done this. I just left it, this in here because if something happens, I have a backup. But you need to have a Pikmin 2 USA I, that is a .iso, not NKIT ISO, not RVZ, not CISO. It needs to be a ISO file. Now, how do you do this? Very easy. So this is where the NKIT uh, 1.4 plus GameCube partitions comes in play. So what you need to do is in this case, I already have an entire folder full of games that I want for my GameCube. And you also say I have one here for Luigi's Mansion. That's a whole other video within itself. And the creator of that mod already tells you how to do that. So I don't need to make one for it. This is for Pikmin Squared because otherwise it just will not work. So as you all can see here, there's a... And this is just for example, you need a Pikmin 2. This is just a Pikmin 1. But essentially, you'll need to get a Pikmin 2 USA ROM that's a NKIT ISO. Then you take that ISO, you click on it, or right click it, whichever you do, go to open with, and you'll need to do choose another app. Then just guide that. Uh, when you select choose another app, guide it to your in kit folder and select convert to ISO. 
and then it will pull up a a uh, console window and it will run its process. I'm not doing it right now because I've already had it set up, but it takes roughly two, maybe three minutes to run the full system, depending on the size of the ROM. Now, once you have your Pikmin 2 ISO, you simply just drag it onto the dot bat file right here. I'm not doing it because I've already have it done. Same thing, it will run its process as long as it's a .iso and the md5 matches. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all where to get this file from. You can find it on your own. It's not hard to compare. And you might be wondering, well, how do I know if the md5s match? Well, that's easy. You can go to a site like this one. You can see the HTML and everything for yourself. And then you just drop your file into here. It will hash it, and then you will see the output down here. So in this case, we will go over to here, and I will just drop the file in. And as you see, it just immediately starts hashing. There's nothing else. It's only using a local file. It will not keep these files on the site. It will not store them, it will just have you drop it in as if you're using a regular app on your mm. And then once you have everything set up, you will receive this file. You just drop that into wherever your games are stored for your GameCube. I personally use Dolphin. I believe that's the only one that can run GameCube files. And you just load it up and play. Simple as that. It's not it's not as hard as people make it out to be. But it is a little confusing at first if you don't know what you're doing. That was the issue that I was running into is it was easy to understand, but they don't really explain the instructions properly within the Pikmin squared files. So I'm making this video just to kind of explain it a little better to people who might not know what to do, and they can kind of follow along. Because like I said, once you understand it, it's not that hard. By the way, this is the M.5. As you can see, they'll match up if I open it up. It's not too hard to tell. But, yeah. So, it's not incredibly hard to figure out. It is just a little confusing if you don't know exactly what you're doing. But anyway. That's the entire video. I just wanted to make it real quick just to help people kind of understand what the fuck's going on because it's really confusing. So thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you, leave a like, subscribe if you want more content. And if you know someone who might need this help, share it with them. Anyway, again, Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Love you all.